Hi, my name is Rebecca and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I don't have any other video ideas, so I just wanted to go ahead and address something that I wanted to talk about. Why I am not going to SCAD. So this time last year, I thought I was going to be living at SCAD with my closest friends and I was going to go and major in film and I would be having a fantastic time. But instead, of course, I'm at home doing online school at a different school. So I wanted to talk about this, mostly because a lot of my friends don't know exactly what happened. All they know is I talked for like a whole year or two about SCAD non-stop and all of a sudden I'm not going there. So <laughs> I don't think anyone actually cares, but I think this video might be helpful for people trying to decide if they want to go to SCAD or not. Let me explain why instead of scad i am sad first i think i need to give some background ever since i was probably around the age of nine i heard about scad and i decided that's where i wanted to go for school and i knew it was very expensive but i thought somehow i would be able to figure it out when i was eight i had started taking art lessons and we kind of figured out i'm like an art prodigy oh well I'm not an art prodigy anymore but at the time for my age I was extremely skilled at art and I decided I wanted to do something in a creative field and I thought I wanted a career in fashion design because I really love clothes so my mom suggested SCAD because it's actually not that far from where I live and it's an art school but we looked at the price of it and immediately we're like okay that's a lot and I was like yeah no we'll figure it out. And as I got older, it seemed less probable that I would ever go there. And the end of my junior year, I saw that SCAD has summer programs. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I was talking about it with my mom and she was like, okay, we're going to send you. And I was like, what? So I got to go to summer seminar in 2018 in SCAD Atlanta for a week where I met my lovely friend, Angelina. And Angelina told me that she preferred the Savannah campus. And I decided that the next summer I was going to participate in their Rising Star program at the Savannah campus with Angelina. And I almost backed out of this decision last minute, right before I had to pay for it, because I thought that I would fall in love with SCAD and then something would happen and I wouldn't be able to afford it. But of course, people kept telling me, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. So I went and I got two classes done. I did a beginning film class and a beginning drawing class. I liked both. They were very stressful. SCAD demands a lot from you, especially since the classes were shorter than they normally are. I met my very best friend in the world, Sam, who's also friends with Angelina. And Angelina is one of the sweetest people I've ever met, hands down, love her. And honestly, those five weeks at Rising Star were the best I've ever had. So I finally had some freedom. So all of a sudden I had freedom, I had friends. I was having such a great time there and I made it my mission to go back. I cried when I left, scared. <laughs> Like, I do cry a lot, but I was on the verge of sobbing because I knew I probably would never go back, like, deep down. But I was like, mission, get to SCAD. The chances of me going to SCAD went further and further downhill as my senior year went on. So I started out saying, I'm going to SCAD. I'm so happy, and I know what I'm doing finally. Like, my only question was, am I gonna get a master's in film, or am I just gonna get my undergrad in film? And what is my minor gonna be? Those were the only questions I had left. Oh, besides how to pay for it. So at my school, we had something called a passion project that they would make all like the, the gifted students do. So I had to do a passion project and it was like also a senior capstone. Honestly, I'm really confused about exactly what it was, but they gave me time during the day to work on some things. Yeah. <laughs> Eloquent. <laughs> Obviously it wasn't speech. So I made my passion project, my SCAD portfolio and practicing and trying to get prepared for art school because I am a very out of practice artist. I am not very good at consistently doing any art. I love art and when I do art, most of the time, I will not stop. 
a piece until it's perfect. And that might take a year of me just starting it and then not coming back to it until like four months later. And then not coming back to it to another four months and then finishing it after it's been a year since I started it. Not very productive, very bad. But with film, I'm kind of more like, ooh, get it done. I do more thinking about film than filming because when I start filming, I want to finish it. But anyways, for my portfolio and preparing for SCAD, I decided to do a documentary film for my school's theater show thing. One act. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> and it was really dramatic. My gosh, I watch way too many dramatic documentaries and I knew exactly what I was doing. It turned out really well. I was really proud of it. Uh, I see a lot of issues, little tiny, little tweaks that need to be made in the actual final product. It wasn't perfect, but I was really proud of it, and I still kind of am. And I worked on a bunch of other different pieces, but that was the one that took most of my time. But all this to say that I spent pretty much most of my senior year, so almost an entire year of my life, because I, I did do a little bit of work in my junior year too. Working for SCAD, ex like just trying to get prepared to go there and to get scholarships. And by the time I had to put in my housing for another school, I had collected over $50,000 in scholarships for SCAD. Now some of that is normal scholarships, I can use it wherever, but most of it was from SCAD. I've said SCAD so many times. I feel like this is what it's like to be my friend. <laughs> I try to stop talking about it because it's annoying. So I also only applied to two schools. One being the school I'm going to now and the other one being SCAD because I got a free application because I couldn't really afford to apply for schools. So I applied to my dream school and a safety school. And I knew that I wanted to go to the safety school if I couldn't go to the dream school, so it was good. That worked out for me. And I didn't even get to submit my portfolio to SCAD. That's the worst part. I didn't even get my portfolio of scholarship. I don't even know what it would have been because I never submitted because it cost $10 to submit. And since I knew by then that I probably, no matter how much money they offered me, I couldn't afford it still, I didn't want to spend the $10. We'll never know! Haha! <laughs> Boo hoo! Cray! <laughs> oh, you do need to go to art school! Ooh! <laughs> and the final straw was when I had to do a budget project for my econ class and I had to compute how much I'd be paying back in student loans. And I realized it would be my entire income, basically. If not my entire income, a good chunk of it. I'd be able to afford food, clothes maybe. I couldn't afford to pay rent though. I would be living at home, commuting to work. And of course you don't make a lot of money in film for most positions. Some positions you make a good bit, but most positions you're not making a ton of money. So it was kind of like, oh, well that, that's not good. I don't like that. This video starts to go on for too long and I get really rambly, but pretty much realized I couldn't afford SCAD and then I had to put money down for a room at my school that I was going to go to, which I am, I'm going to it, but I'm not going to it. It's online right now. But since I thought I'd be living on campus, I had to go ahead and reserve my dorm for that. So I was like, crap, <laughs> I'm not going to SCAD. And now I have to figure out what my major is going to be because they don't have film and I don't even know if I want to still do film. I don't know what I want to do. That's the video. Thank you so much if you're watching this video. I'm really sorry I haven't been uploading lately. I got a job, which I'm so happy and thankful for, but I've been trying to balance school and work. Also, I really hate watching this video because I cry multiple times and that's why there's so many freaking jump cuts because I'm an emotional person. Now I'm like, I feel like I'm completely over it right Well, I'm mostly over it right now. Really, the reason I'm so attached to SCAD is because my best friend's going there and I miss her a lot and I also love Savannah so there's that and it was the school I always wanted to go to and I was thinking I would be going there right now and I'm not so it's kind of just weird. I only recommend going if you can afford it because <laughs> student loans suck and you don't want to have to pay those back. They suck. You can take some out but don't take too much guys, okay? Be smart.
I love how I'm telling you guys to be smart. I'm normally the one that comes on here and acts like an idiot because this is my place to do that. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures from my outfit that on this day. I'm, I'm going to post it. Bye.